So one of the most popular mini series here on my channel is it's the video games fault not my bad parenting I've made two of these videos two videos in this series so far uh, Both of them actually happen to be from dr. Phil episodes where like I don't know a kid would be playing video games too much and the parents just didn't know how to handle it They couldn't figure it out uh, They're actually some of the most popular videos on my channel And I actually saw an article from a place called frag hero and the moment that I saw it man I was just like, you know this is going to be the third video in this series. So today we are completing a trilogy of sorts with everything we're about to take a look at here. Now, I, I think it's pretty common knowledge at this point that video games have become a scapegoat for parents, right? Anytime anything goes wrong in their lives or their children's lives or their realistically extended family or anything, they the first thing they run to is, oh, it's got to be those video games, man. Look at these video games destroying our children, turning them into violent sociopaths and destroying society. Ah, what will we ever do you know falling to their knees throwing their hands to the sky calling to god but it's funny that in these situations very often you can just take a look at the parenting skills of the people raising these children and you'll just instantaneously realize that everything that happened is more or less their fault you know it's all on them and they just don't know how to take responsibility for whatever happened and that's exactly what we're going to be seeing in today's situation today we're going to be going over a larger debate but more or less taking a look at this specific example and seeing, you know, just what's going on here. So it seems like something that's become more and more common over the years as video games have blown up even more and the rise of microtransactions and stuff has come along, and that would be kids stealing their parents' credit card or using the credit card already attached to their PlayStation or Xbox to buy hundreds of dollars of microtransactions. Now, you can understand why this is a problem. Most people already live paycheck to paycheck, at least here in the United States, and when you have your child out here spending 300 bucks on the new Fortnite shop, that could be the difference between paying the electricity bill and going hungry, right? That, that could actually mean a lot to a lot of people. So it's a very high stress topic because, I mean, if you put yourself in these people's shoes, like you can see why they're upset. But at the end of the day, you're going to notice a lot of different things about this when we take a look at it. So what the fuck I got 43, 49, I'm going to fuck you up. Get the fuck out. Get up. I'm going to beat your fucking ass. Why you got 49 fucking thousand v -bucks? You better go to fuck to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. All right, for those of you who don't understand, so the kid who is crying in the background either somehow took his mom's credit card or used, once again, the one already attached to the system to buy nearly 50,000 V-Bucks on Fortnite. So uh, I went through and I looked at this article and everything, and apparently that is nearly 300 real-life dollars spent on V-Bucks. So you can definitely understand why the parent is upset here. That's a lot of money. I mean, that's like a bill for some people, right? That's like electricity for a family or something like that. So. So I do understand why the mom is mad, but uh, in this situation, let's be honest here. Regardless of how it happened, it really just kind of comes back on you. And I, I know it's easy to blame the video games or, or to blame the kid for doing it, but in reality, it's not really either their fault. So I don't know if that's controversial to say. I mean, yeah, of course, to a certain extent, the kid is in the wrong. But the kid, from what I can hear in, like, the crying and stuff, is pretty young, right? You know, we're talking about, like, a 7, 8, 9, 10-year-old kid here. I mean, kids do stupid shit you know what I mean kids will go and do things even if they know that it's wrong they'll do things just because you know they lack impulse control and they don't have great decision making and I'm gonna blame the mom in this situation I I, I don't know if this is gonna be controversial because you know everyone likes to blame video games and everything for, for what's going on here but let me explain just why she's at fault so first and foremost let's assume this kid stole the card right now that's a little worse because obviously the kid would have to I don't know go into like her purse or something like that and take the card that would definitely definitely be worse but still at the end of the day number one you need to raise your children not to steal shit number two you need to make sure that your children aren't stealing things as important as your debit card or your credit card and spending money on it number three it seems like the vast majority of parents with kids playing video games don't have this issue, right? Like, if children were just always so prone to going and stealing this type of shit with no outside influence, you know, stealing their mom's card to spend money and everything, then how come more kids aren't doing it, right? Because, like, with me, I grew up playing video games since I was, like, two or three years old. They've been in my life pretty much since the beginning, right? At least ever since I can remember. And I never once took my family's card and spent hundreds of dollars on video games. I, I, I just knew better. 
better. I knew that if I did something like that, Mama Optimus would probably have sent my PlayStation 3 through the ceiling of the house with one hand. So, but I, I, I wouldn't have a PlayStation or an Xbox after something like this happened. If I spent that much money on my parents' credit card, not only would they have taken my games from me, I also would have been doing chores and working that money off, right? I'd have been mowing grass, washing dishes, doing something, helping with dinner. I like, I would have been doing something to be paying off that debt. And instead of taking the video game or like, you know, telling your kids to work off the money, the mom is like freaking out and just screaming at the kid, threatening to beat his ass and everything. And it's like, at the end of the day, you're responsible for this situation. I mean, either you've raised your child to think that it's okay to steal your card whenever they fucking please and spend money on it, or you put unsupervised access to your personal debit or credit card onto your child's PlayStation or whatever, and just basically hoped and prayed that they weren't going to spend $300 on V bucks. Either way, most parents don't have the issue of their kid doing something like this, so it really comes down to like your household. Whatever's causing this is being influenced out of your household, okay? It's not really your child's fault that you didn't, I guess, put a lock or something on your card. I mean, even as a kid, like I always knew where like my dad's wallet was and stuff. I always knew where there was money. If I really wanted to, I could have stole, but I never did because I was raised not to do that. So it's almost like how you raise your children and like how active of a parent you are in their life actually influences their fucking life. I know that this is like a shocking moment for some people where they're just now realizing like, oh, I actually have to be a parent, but no, like you, you really do have to put some fucking effort into like teach your kids to not be scumbags and like ruining society. And I know that it's not that deep, right? Like this kid didn't take down, you know, fucking democracy or something by spending 300 bucks in Fortnite, but it's just insane to me that the mom is like blaming the child as if like her eight year old son is responsible for her not using the parental controls on a PlayStation. So I don't know if you guys know this, but like at least on some game launchers and like some consoles and stuff, I'm pretty sure it's a standard feature now, but like I've been seeing it a lot more over the last few years, but there's, there's parental controls now. So you can put your debit card or whatever on your kid's Xbox or Nintendo and whatnot. The only thing is they have to enter like a four digit pin or something like that to use the card to make a purchase, or you have to enter your email address or something for it to go through. Like they, they have, these features to where the parent has to authorize the purchase. I'm pretty sure they even have like apps that you can do it remotely with your phone from, right? But parents, instead of using these features, instead of, you know, doing this or like teaching their kids not to do this shit, they get mad when it happens and just act stunned with the surprised Pikachu face like they're not partially responsible for it, so... You get $80 mad times, because how you got 49,000 V-Bucks? You be violating. For real, I'm done. That ass. I don't use my car no more. For real, take my car off of this shit. For real. Alright, so there's something there that I really kind of want to focus in on, and I think this really highlights the problem here, okay? So at the end of this, you hear her say, don't use my card anymore, take this off your PlayStation. Of course, not in that nice of a tone, but that's what she says. Now let's get this straight, okay? Do you think that that was enough to encourage this child to never do this again? Do you think hearing, Ayo, don't use my card anymore, take it off your PlayStation, do you, do you think that that was enough to genuinely, like, discourage your child from doing some shit? shit like this? Do you really think that that was like, the, 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 those were the perfect fucking words that were going to make your child be like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't do this anymore. If I'm a badass little kid spending $300 on my mom's card on Fortnite, if she does literally nothing to punish me and then says, don't, you know, use my card anymore, that isn't enough to fucking stop me. Personally, the first thing that I would have done when my kid spent 300 bucks on my debit card or whatever uh, on Fortnite is I'm taking the console away for a good period of time. You can spend those $300, but I'll be damned if you're using those on skins in the game for the next five months, right? Like, video games are a privilege. I get that for some reason they've been turned into like a raising mechanism for your children where you can just sit them in front of it for eight hours a day and that's how you raise your kid, but they're a privilege, you know? You don't have to play video games to live a happy and fulfilling life, right? So, if my kid is doing some shit like this, I'm sorry, I'm not filming a fucking TikTok about it and telling him not to use my card. His PlayStation is now my PlayStation and he's not playing that shit until he earns the money back through some chores. I don't know if that's too harsh of parenting, but no, my kid is mowing some grass. My kid is helping with laundry. He's cleaning some uh, dishes or something until he gets that $300 worked off. Cause there is absolutely no way that I'm just letting this fucking slide. Now people are saying, oh, dispute it with the bank, dispute it, you know, get 
get your money back. Yeah, that's great. That works wonders and everything. But at the end of the day, what does that teach your fucking kid? You know, what, what exactly are you teaching your child when you don't do anything to like give them consequences for their actions? You shrug your shoulders, say, don't do it again, and then just go get your money back from the bank. Even if they are willing to actually refund your money or whatever, some banks are not going to refund that money because, well, you should have been a better parent and made sure your child wasn't doing this shit. It's just ridiculous to me that like people defend parents like this, right? People defend them not giving a fuck enough to do anything, right? I mean, you can threaten to beat your child's ass all you want, but if at the end of the day, the punishment is telling them don't do it again, what the fuck are you teaching your kids? Like, I I'm starting to see maybe the reasons why this happened in the first place through these videos. And you know, I've had parents who've emailed me or commented or whatnot on these videos, and they've said, oh, Optimus, you're just a young buck, bro. You don't know a fucking thing you're talking about. You don't know how to raise a child. You probably don't even have kids of your own. Well, I don't have kids of my own. You're right about that. But to be real with you, a lot of these quote-unquote hard parenting decisions are simply just common fucking sense. Like, it's not hard to raise your child to not do this. Plenty of parents do it. My parents did it. Incredible, right? But... It's just about deflecting and making yourself not the problem, even though you're the one at fault. Now, with that being said, though, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubTheOptimus. Also, man, make sure to check out Shop Oppy. I just released a whole bunch of new merchandise. It supports the channel 10,000 times more than watching one single YouTube ad with a purchase. And, of course, it supports all of the Optimus ventures. It helps support the content, any future things that I might do for the channel. Link is in the pinned comment and description and uh yeah with that being said until my next video guys this is optimus well blaming the video games again and signing out